Hey guys, welcome back to RC Brucey. Thanks for tuning in once again. As you see here, I got the X Mac on the old workbench once again. Got a rear dry shaft that's bent, so I thought I'd take this opportunity and show you guys all how to do it. So let's get to it. All right, you can already see that I got the wheel removed. So that makes things a little easier, and let's get started. On the end here, you got a little spring clip, and you got to get that spring clip popped up while you're doing this. Be careful not to send it flying because sometimes they like to go flying across the room. But take it off just as so. I like to use a flat tip screwdriver or anything that can get in there. Sometimes with a pair of dikes in the edge. But and to pry it up, once you get to a certain point, like I said, be careful. It will spring across the room. Take the wheel hex off. Lay that off to the side. We actually got a... Sorry about that. Of course, I'm not prepared again. I had everything out, and of course I just put it away. But we're going to remove, on the rear here I got these RPM pins, keep the uh, RPM arms from spreading, so we're going to take this upper pin off, like so. And I'm just going to leave that right in the driver. Pull the upper pin out, lift the arm up. And let's pull the axle out. This is a good time while you're sitting here to check bearings and stuff. And I can see right there that inner one of mine is not doing too good. Outer one's a little is brand new. And this is an older one. So we're gonna take this out. And we're gonna get a new bearing, get that installed. I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm back. I got the bearing. Matched it up. I already know which one it is. I just did a video on how to do the front hub there. Hub and hub carrier. And guess what? Same exact thing happened. So we're good there. So I'm going to throw that to the side. I'm actually going to put these bearings back in because they're not necessary to do this job. But it's always good to check them, like I just said, to make sure everything's nice and smooth and, and working well. Okay, next, there's a pin here. And we got to get the pin pushed out. So, and these can be a pain in the neck sometimes, but once you get them moving, like so, I use the driver, I pushed on it. Sometimes you got to get a hammer, tap them once you get them moving, get them going. And sometimes I notice if they're not working too well one direction, try to go the other way. So, we're going to take that out like so. We're going to take this out because you're going to need it for the other axle. That's what that pin goes down through. If you're wondering, the new drive axle is a 7750X. 7750X. Take the old one there. You can see how, I don't know if you can see that on camera, but it's quite bent. But you're going to take this center piece, put it right back through as so. You're going to line up those holes that we just had. You're going to take the pin, push the pin right back through, making sure it's going through the center. And voila. Just like so, nice and easy, all back together. Reverse order as we took it apart. You're going to put this back through the center of the hub. Line up the axle so it's in the hole there. I always like to, while I got the axle set properly through the bearings, I always like to put the wheel hex back on in this spring. Make sure nothing comes apart when I'm moving stuff around. I said watch that spring clip it'll go flying there's that make sure you're in the axles in its proper position up on the inside I'm gonna put your pin back through start the nut on the other side and voila just like so, your dry shaft is replaced that easy. 
and not that bad to do, especially if you're always ripping it apart like I am. Things usually move pretty well unless you really do some damage to some things. But anyway, thanks for watching. I hope this helps someone out there that's not sure how to do it. Helps you out. Gets you back RC bashing. Once again, hit that like button. Please subscribe. And thanks for watching RC Brucey. Greatly appreciate it.